This tip will blow your mind and hopefully change your workflow for the better moving forward. All right, let's get into it. Do you edit your projects using the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite? Good, you're watching the right video. This tip will work for just about every kind of file you might use, whether that be video, audio, text, pictures, you name it, all that sort of stuff. This should work and do wonders for your project. Okay, before we get too carried away, a little bit of groundwork first, and then hopefully that'll help carry you through. So let's just get this right out of the way. I recommend this only if you're starting a new project. So if you're already editing something, don't attempt this. It might stuff up your workflow or you will lose files or that sort of thing. So disclaimer here. So I recommend only following these steps for a new project. Okay, cool. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so for your new projects, you're gonna to wanna to create a neat folder structure. So first, create a year folder in the drive that you're going to use. So that could be a brand new drive or a partition drive or whatever. So it doesn't really matter so much for this video, but let's just call it a clean drive and you're gonna name it after the year that we're in. Okay, now we actually name our project folder. So for me, I always do the reverse date followed by the project name in capitals. So that would look like 18 for the year, 09 for the month, 03 for the day, underscore. That's really important to add an underscore. And then in capitals, we create the project name. So for instance, let's just call it this video. So I'm gonna call it batch tips, batch, for one word and then underscore and then tips the second word boom so now everything is going to reside within this folder structure now we're going to take that folder structure and then apply it to every new kind of source that we've got so let's make a new folder for each of those so let's call the camera 6d let's say we got a drone let's say we got some pictures and we got some separate audio okay and then just arrange it nice and neat Okay, so now we wanna rename each of these with our folder structure that we've just made. So 180903 underscore batch underscore tips underscore 6D. So now we know that that is all the 6D footage will be found within that. Okay, now just repeat this for all your different sources. Okay, so now move all your media to these various folders. So move your 6D footage to the 6D, move your drone to the drone, audio to the audio, pictures to the pictures. And let's just say you've done that now. Okay, so don't worry too much about what my files currently look like and what they're called and how many I have. This process really works for anything. Okay, you still with me? Now we finally get to today's tip. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is open up Adobe Bridge. Okay, now we're gonna navigate to where we've created that project. And here's our project, Batch Tips. Let's open that up. And you can set up your view in Bridge however you want. I just like Essentials for this process. So let's start with the 6D footage. So open up that folder. And as you can see, they've all got very generic names. Now, yes, you can sort of name them in your camera depending on what kind of camera you have. But for argument's sake, let's say you can't rename them in your camera or you've already got folders and files that already exist with the same name. This is where this tip is really important and really helpful. Highlight the folder name. You can just do it from the dialog up the top here. Go back to Bridge and highlight all your files in that folder by pressing Command A. Right click anywhere on that selection. Scroll down to batch rename and click it. A dialogue will pop up. Don't be scared, it's all pretty simple here. Don't worry about the top bits for now. Move down to the section called new file names. Make sure text is selected from the first option. This is where we'll paste our folder name that we have highlighted before for the 6D. Go ahead and paste that info there. Okay, now move to the second dialogue and change it to be text again, like the first. This time, just put one underscore in that option. Make sure it is only one underscore, really important. Okay, so now you should see down the bottom of the dialog, a preview of how the file will rename. Okay, so there's still one issue. So we don't wanna lose the unique file ID or the metadata that each file has. In other words, the original name. We don't wanna lose that at all. So let's change the third attribute in the new file name section to string substitution. Now next to that, there should be a box. Make sure it says original file name. 
Okay, so now as you can see down the bottom of the dialog, the new file name has all our updated info, but it maintains the crucial unique file info. Okay, so just make sure all other boxes are checked or unchecked, just like mine is here. I'll pause the screen for a second here so you can have a look and just make sure that everything's right. Cool, hopefully you've sorted that out. Great, now go up to the top and hit rename up on the right. Boom, just like that. So it should take a second or two, depending on how many files you have, but every file in that folder will be renamed in one hit. Then simply repeat this process for every other folder we made before, audio, drone, etc. So once you get your head around this, you'll wonder how you ever managed before. Now, of course, this doesn't work for absolutely every file type and every camera, unfortunately. So Sony in particular, have their own complicated metadata system. So if you're shooting on say an FS5, an FS7, an F5, an F55, those sort of cameras, they need their own program called Catalyst Browse to be able to rename the files without losing their crucial metadata. So once you do have Catalyst Browse, and yes, it does cost money, you can more or less repeat my process in Catalyst Browse. All right, so hopefully this tip has helped you today. Hopefully you can use this system going forward for all your projects. And if you did like this video, why not give a thumbs up by hitting that like button so then I know exactly how many people have helped. If you're still having any issues, let's meet down in the comments and hopefully we can help each other out. If you like my content, why not pound that sub button and be sure to ping that bell so you never miss a beat from me. All right, I look forward to sharing more tips with you guys in the near future. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, bye for now. Whoa.